Welcome back. Previously, we talked about how financial statements are prepared and their purposes. Today, we will look at the story behind the numbers by interpreting financial statements. And be sure to check out our other videos in this series. By the end of this video, you will understand how financial statements can be examined using tools such as horizontal, vertical, and ratio analysis. Such analyses help us interpret the performance of an organization and compare it with similar organizations. When analyzing financial statements, we need to assess the moving parts in its entirety from a holistic perspective. This helps us understand the inner workings of an organization, and annual reports offer this opportunity. An annual report is comprehensive and details an organization's activities throughout the year and outlines plans for the coming year. It is divided into several components. It usually starts with a business strategy and operations summary. This tells us where the organization is headed, why, and how it is achieving the target set by senior leadership and management. Next up is a summary of key financial information, which indicates changes in revenues, expenses, accumulated wealth, and cash balances. This is usually followed by a report from senior leadership and management. It describes how the organization is progressing and performing from the executive's and management's perspective. Another critical component is the auditor's report. This includes the auditor's views on the organization's accounts, their validity, and legality. Note that not all organizations need to conduct an audit. Then, a list of main advisors, such as legal and financial. Not all organizations do this, but some like to share for transparency reasons. Lastly, a critical component, the consolidated financial statements. This includes the five key financial reports, namely income statement, statement of retained earnings, balance sheet, cash flow statement, and notes to financial statements. They exist to serve different users who use the information to make various decisions. They help reduce uncertainty people may have about an organization's finances and performance. Annual reports are designed with diverse users' needs in mind. In a previous video, we talked about internal and external users and how their needs vary. Users typically want to know three things. First of all, how financially healthy is an organization? This is answered by assessing the balance sheet. More specifically, looking at the changes in assets, liabilities, and equity year after year. Secondly, how is an organization performing? This is answered by evaluating the income statement, which provides a detailed outlook of revenues and expenses. By looking at the changes in these numbers, users find the meaning behind them and answers to their questions. Lastly, is an organization creating value? In other words, is it ready for the environment and economy of tomorrow? This gets answered by looking at past trends and comparing it with similar organizations. As leaders, managers, and fiduciaries, people want to make sure that they share with users the best, most accurate, and transparent information. By doing so, they create a healthy, empowering, and encouraging environment, which in turn builds trust and confidence within users, who as a result, support the organization's vision and plans. To evaluate an organization and understand the value it creates, we conduct horizontal, vertical, and ratio analysis. This helps us understand the real story behind the numbers. This involves comparing year-to-year -year financial data for assets, liabilities, equity, expenses, and revenues. In doing that, we look for what's normal and what's not. We determine whether the organization is consistently performing. We assess the significant changes and account for them. When assessing an organization, we look at changes within it or intra-company. We use the assessment against similar organizations or intercompany and draw conclusions about its position within its industry. Let's take a closer look at each of these techniques. The first one is called horizontal analysis. It's also known as trend analysis, since it looks at financial statements over multiple periods. The main idea is to understand the change within a line item compared to its base year, which can be expressed as a percentage or an amount. It helps comparing the different line items within financial statements with past periods. It allows financial statement users to easily spot trends and growth patterns. It empowers users to question the significant changes. It can be mathematically calculated in two ways. One, by subtracting base year amount from current year and dividing it by the base year to determine the changes since base year. Two, by dividing current year amount by the base year to determine current results in relation to the base period. The second technique is known as the vertical analysis. It is also called common size analysis because it uses a common base figure and evaluates financial statements by expressing each line item as a percentage of the base amount for that period. 
This helps us understand the impact of each line item within the financial statement and its contribution to the resulting figure. It shows any drastic change in a company's financial statement. The trick is to analyze data over a number of years. It's an excellent tool to compare companies of different sizes from the same industry. Looking at their financial data reveals strategy. For example, their largest expenses can indicate the competitive edge they have over comparable companies. The third and final technique to interpret financial statements is ratio analysis. This technique helps us understand the financial health of an organization by assessing past periods, planned performance, and similar businesses. The ratio analysis looks at mathematical relationships between different financial statement items. These results are compared with other variables over a period of time against competitors or industry standards. It is usually executed by comparing two numbers from financial statements, which are expressed either as a percentage or a proportion. The mathematical expression helps interpret trends within the organization and allows us to develop an understanding of how they are doing in comparison with others in the same industry. This technique paints a picture of the financial position and performance of an organization. It leads to asking the right questions and spotting strengths and weaknesses. While ratios are popular, there are limitations. For example, if financial statements are not prepared accurately, ratios cannot be relied upon. Additionally, ratios can be restrictive and do not take all the intangibles into account. It could also be difficult to find the right type of organization to compare to. Some balance sheet ratios could be misleading because a balance sheet is prepared at a specific time, whereas the actual financial position may be different at the time of conducting the ratio analysis. Lastly, if inflation has occurred in between periods, then real prices are not reflected in the financial statements. Despite these limitations, ratio analysis is still a widely used technique when it comes to analyzing financial statements. We hope this video has been helpful in understanding how financial statements can be interpreted using horizontal, vertical, and ratio analysis. Subscribe to our channel and find us on our socials for future tutorials. See you next time.